Hello, Stevenites, and people who will one day become Stevenites. I hope. If you like video games at all, stick around, because this video is right up your alley. If you don't like video games, humor me. A friend of mine is looking to get his site promoted, and I believe you're already familiar with him. Or, well, at least his work. He's a translator for Funimation Studios, translating anime such as Case Closed and Dragon Ball. He's also worked on some video game projects, for example, the Mother 3 fan translation. Interested yet? Clyde, or how he's more commonly known on the internet, Tomato, decided to make a website called Game Swag. It's a website devoted to video games, but the merchandise side of things. You don't have to be that into video games to know that there's a lot of merchandise that floats around. It could be something as simple as shirts, it could be something as complicated as a statue. But no matter what video game you're looking at, there's merchandise of every variety for every type of game. Now, Game Swag is a traditional news blog with tips submitted by readers but it is focused primarily on the video game merchandise. You're not going to find video game reviews, previews, rumors, or anything of that sort. Just merchandise. Now, for some of you, I've already grabbed your attention. You're probably over at GameSwag right now checking it out, but for the others, uh, you might need a little persuading. Perhaps merchandise isn't really up your alley. To be honest, I didn't think it was up my alley either. But the fact that there is so much merchandise out there and so much coming out all the time, there's always news to report on, and I've actually found it to be somewhat interesting. Okay, very interesting. What's so great about the site is that it's part blog and part wiki. So the blog is obviously giving you the news section, uh, giving you updates on what the new merchandise is coming out, but the wiki section is really key, because the wiki section means every single item, every single swag, every single shirt, game, anything, has its own page that's editable by you as a user. So what makes it so exciting is that you can help out. Uh, big time. If you're looking at a piece of swag and you're like, hey, I have that. I could get better shots than what's already on here. Then you can take pictures and upload them and have them on the site. If you're looking at the page for one of your favorite video games, something you're really passionate about, and it doesn't have a description yet, well, I think you would be at liberty to write one. I think that alone, and also the fact that GameSwag has already been around for a few months and has built up this huge inventory of cool and interesting merchandise, is enough to draw you in. But there's another factor. Oh, well, there's actually several other factors, but there's another factor that really drew me in, and I think you will also be interested in it. There's a lot of websites out there that let video game collectors put in their video game collections. We know this. There's a lot of them. But are there very many websites out there that let you put in your merchandise? Short answer, no. Long answer, none that I've seen. The beauty is that since the games are merchandise, the games are in there too. So now you can have a list that will give you the approximate value based on actual statistics, of your collection, both for your video games and for your merchandise. Honestly, that's what sold me. Now, I've got a long road ahead of me because I've got a lot of video games and a lot of merchandise, but I am slowly beginning to fill out my collection page. If you're interested in seeing it, I've put it down in the description box. So far, the only thing I've got on there are my SNES and my NES games, but I'm working on it. Well, Steven, you say, this all sounds absolutely magnificent. What should I do next? Well, more than likely, you're already a fan of Clyde's work, whether it be watching Dragon Ball or having played Mother 3 in English, so why not support him in this latest endeavor? Head on over to GameSwag.com, make an account, and for the purposes of this video, start filling out your collection, and uh, link to your GameSwag username down in the comments. Yeah, I know, YouTube is dumb, it doesn't allow links, but just leave your username and we'll plug it into a URL, so we'll make sure that we can see them. I get a chance to share my collection with you guys, and it is growing because I don't have it all filled out yet, but I'm interested in seeing yours. So, make an account, fill out your collection, especially your merchandise stuff, because that is the point of game swag, and put it down in the comments so I can see it. And obviously, since Clyde wanted me to promote his site, it would be awesome if you could also promote the site. Tweet about it. Post it on Facebook. Make a YouTube video about it. Something like that. I don't know about you guys, but I think this site idea is brilliant. I mean, we've got a lot of sites that cover gaming news but none that really cover video game merchandise. And we've got a lot of sites where you can list your collection of games, but none that list the video game merchandise. And also, GameSwag lists the game, so you can have b the best of both worlds. It's a real win-win situation, and I think the site idea is great. I love the wiki aspect, where the users are capable of going in there and editing the content themselves. I think this is a brilliant idea, and I think that if you like the idea, you should help spread it. So go to GameSwag and make a profile, fill out your collection and put your username down in the comments section, and promote the site in any way you can. And if you do promote it, let me know how in the comments. Even if you just say, I tweeted about it, or I posted it on Facebook. 
that means a lot, and that's really going to help him out. Now, as I've said before, Tomato is a friend, and that's the reason I did this for him. That's the reason I'm promoting this site. So please don't come asking me to promote your site. It's nothing personal, but if I did that, I'd have to do that for everyone, and that would get a little crazy. Alternatively, if you don't make a GameSwag.com account, which is fine, and you don't choose to do the other things I described in the video, if nothing else, talk about your favorite or rarest piece of video game merchandise. For example, mine would be this Nintendo 64 pen. I got it way back when Diddy Kong Racing came out for the Nintendo 64. Nintendo was going around to just random Walmarts uh, in North America, and they were having these Diddy Kong Racing competitions the day the game came out. And they held a competition, and I had one of the fastest times, and I got this Nintendo 64 pen. And what makes it so rare is that I've searched high and low for any other information about it, and I've never found it. So, that makes it pretty rare. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you don't do anything else, at least check GameSwag.com out. And let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?